Welcome back to another exciting episode of Small Talk Lots Fishing. Today we're going to be discussing what types of knots to use and for what line. So as you may know, you're always going to be using knots of fishing. You can't avoid them, there's nothing you can do. So instead of dreading about tying knots, not having faith, try using the knots I'm about to show you and have confidence. So first we need to talk about the different types of line. You have braided line. As you can see, the little braided edges. You have, and you, have, you also have monofilament. It's just one strand. However, those aren't the only two. There's also line called fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon is pretty much just monofilament line made out of fluorocarbon. Out of fluorocarbon. So, first I'm going to show you knots that are good for monofilament. They're pretty much all the same as for the rest. But there are certain knots you want to avoid when doing fluorocarbon to braid, braid to fluorocarbon, braid to monofilament, and so so. So first, we're going to do the most basic knot, the improved clinch knot. So the improved clinch knot usually gets a bad rap, but it's a great knot and I love it. So you, you want to go through the eye of your hook or your lure. You want to pull out about... I'd say five inches, so about this much. Then you want to hold the two line pieces together. You want to wrap once, twice, thrice, four times, and five times. Okay. Now, if it's weak line, you can go six times, but for the sake of the demonstration, I'll just do five. You want to go back in the loop you held, pull this line through, and now you see you've made a second loop. You want to pull the tag end through and you want to take that and pull it, cinch it out. And one thing, not for the squeamish, but look away now. You want to lick your line to lubricate it, just like an engine. And you want to wrap it around your hand, pull as hard as you can. And then you can also just cinch it down with your fingernails. However, when you're using monofilament, you may fray the line, which means you get little grooves, which will break e more easily. However, it's not big of a deal. So, you also want to obviously have scissors, but you can also use the sharp edge of a flyer, and they work great. So you save space in your tackle box, you don't have to have two. Just go. And this is what I'm talking about. This is a fray. See that? See the inconsistency in the line? It'll break right off. Like that. There you have the improved clinch. Now, I'm going to try to break it. Now look at that. It did not slip. I mean, it did maybe very small you can detect that there's almost no slippage that's a good knot now partially it's because I didn't pull out my full strength because it hurts my hand and partially because I tied it extremely well so just gonna snip it and twist comes right off it only works with monofilament and fluorocarbon braid no chance so that's one t that's one line um, one knot now I'm going to show you a polymer knot so this, most fishermen like this knot. I personally do not. So two ways. You can just go through the lure and then go back. Which is probably easier when you're dealing with monofilament. So like this. And then take your loop and I'm going to go through it twice. So take the loop and your main line and then you have your tag end. You go in it twice. Once, twice, and then you bring it around your lure, your hook. That's one of the reasons I don't like it. It's hard with lures. Then pull it tight. Lick it. And there, 
with the polymer. One great feature about it, it's completely different not you can tell. One great feature about it is the harder you pull on it, the tighter it becomes. So look at that. It's just getting tighter and tighter. It's just getting tighter. Now, the only reason it'd slip is if the tag end went through, but that's extremely rare. Polymer knot is probably the easiest knot for beginners. However, it's not the strongest. It's probably number two. That's a great little technique, just doing that. Okay, the last, the second last but not least, this is my favorite knot. You better remember this one. This one is by far the best. So when you got, if you have this, the extra, just pull it up. That, that's notorious with braid, it's the worst. So, the last knot is called the uni knot. Pull a lot more line for this, so about six inches. Now watch. In books, when they describe it, it look, makes no sense on the diagram. So what you wanna do, you wanna go back around and see how you made this loop. You wanna pull your tag in, most of it. You wanna keep that little loop. Now, what you wanna do, you wanna wrap your line around the main line and this loop line and go once, twice, thrice, four times, five times. Now, pull it. And there you go. But that would be ridiculous if you see yourself have all this line. So what you do, wet it, and look at that, it slides down the line. One more time. And one thing you realize, when you tie knots, they'll get warm. So, because of the friction. So you want to always lubricate them. Yeah, this is burning right now. Okay, so. Not only is, oh, I got some blood on there. Ugh. Not only is it the strongest, it also looks neat. So, just break that. And look, it will not slip, no matter what. Okay, so those are the three normal knots I used to connect lures. Now, one special feature about the polymer, which makes it the most convenient knot, is say for instance you're tying your sinker at the bottom of your line, you can't, you don't have your tag end, the, this part, to tie through the hook. For instance, a drop shot or something rigged like that. So what you can do with the polymer is when the hook, because the sinker's here, you still have this part of the line, so you just do this, make a loop, go through the eye of the lure, and perform the knot as usual. So you can do that instead of having to invest your money on drop shot hooks or stuff like that. So that's, what, those are my favorite knots. Now I'm going to teach you a line to line knot. This is called the line to line unit. So this, I find, only works well with braid. I've not learned a very good knot for doing line to lines with monofilament. They do work, but not well. So, just wanna snip your braid. Look at that braid, it does not rip. You can't, you literally can't, you need braid cutters. I can cut it a million times, no matter what you do, that thing. It just gets better and better. So, for this, for braid, there's nothing you can do. You gotta get scissors. There's nothing you can do about it. Even good scissors have problems with braid. So you just wanna feel for the fray. Once you feel it, go back, and it's right there. You can see it very, probably not on the camera, but there. Cuts like string. So, we're line the line knots. This is your main line. Let's pretend this is your main line. This is attached to your reel. Pretend that's the reel. And this is your leader line. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your main line, you're going to take your leader line. This is usually works great if your line snapped. So go like this. Take about, oh, eight inches. And you want half on each side. So then you go, you keep your thumb right there in the middle. You, because you're making a loop. Once twice, thrice, four, five. You hold that with your mouth, 
So all these instructions are going to be a little harder to decipher. Do the same on the other side. One, two, oh, sorry, these are the wrong line. Okay. So, twice, thrice, four, five. So you got your two, and now you've made that loop, little loop, hard to see. You pull one of them, goes under and through. The other, make sure you don't let that slip or you have to start again and it's extremely aggravating. Keep it there. Now the other, yes, goes through like that. Now, uh, beginners, you're going to have to practice this knot. Then pull them away from each other. It's hard to get sleepy hands right now. <sighs> now look at that knot. Look at that, they're back together. So, it's also known as the blood knot, so you just take your scissors. Oops. See, that's how tough braid is. It doesn't even get cut first try. And these are extremely sharp. Now make sure you always pick up your cut line pieces because it's a real nuisance. You don't. So you always wanna make sure what's your tag in, what's not. Because if you cut your main line, you've just wasted your time. There, that is a blood knot. So it should always be perpendicular from the line. Now it's a very pretty knot. So you just want to pull in to make sure. Look at that. It's straining, but it's not breaking. That's how you know it's a good knot. And now, if I want to, I can just leave that and go away. I mean, now, I don't want to. So, just snip it like that. So, those are my favorite knots. Okay, so, um, so two quick tips when you're testing a knot, hook your knot, you'll hook your hook to um, some part of your table like this part so your parents can't get angry at you for breaking anything and your knot or your line will give way but you want to hold on to the spool like this and pull but make sure you have your hands on the spool so the line doesn't come out and something's going to give way and that's how you know. Make sure you're using a jig or something very heavy so it won't go flying and kill someone. Also, get a spool of garbage line to practice knots because if you're buying something like this, you just wasted $20. Thank you for watching another episode of Small Tackle Fishing. Get out there, get fishing, and get catching. See you next time.